Earlier in the week when I saw this masterpiece, I was like, what is going on in the OCG? So what is up, guys? I'm Cole here. We're back with your obligatory dose of interesting things happening across the pond. So the first deck we're going to be looking at today is this four-axis stun control deck that managed to show up playing none other than Celtic Guardian has a toolbox. Now, I'm not going to be the first one to tell you that uh, this looks very meme -y. And it's nothing wrong with having a little bit of meme in your deck, but everything revolves around the barrier statue of the drought. So no monsters can be special summoned except for earth monsters. You guys know about the barrier statues and the fantastic things that they've done for the game over the course of time. Well, it would appear right now that uh, earth is not getting a lot of love. Who would have guessed? So, being able to just drop this little guy on the field, protect it, and basically blanket the field, well, it's pretty good. Now, I'm surprised enough that we're not abusing Fossil Dino Pachycephalo in this deck, um, but I guess the general consensus for this deck is drop huge beat stick, set five, essentially, past turn. Like, it's basically what your deck wants to do. So, let's kind of go into this and see what's going on here. So, we have triple copies of Barrier Statue of the Drought. Like I said, this is your normal summon. This is where you want to be to start your turn. Flip gate out your opponent. The amount of dice rolls you're going to have to win for this deck is pretty absurd. Then we have triple copies of Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. So this thing has the terrible restriction of you can't attack unless you have no cards in your hand. And then once per turn, you can summon one Celtic Guard from your hand. And then when this attacking card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can draw cards equal to the number of Celtic Guard monsters you control. Hmm. So it's actually pretty unique that this deck has a built-in draw engine. Uh, just kind of generate more advantage for you. Things I never thought I would be saying in, you know, 2019. Yeah, we're playing a Celtic Guardian stun deck out here. We also have one copy of Obnoxious Celtic Guard. So it's just this card can't destroy a battle with a monster with 1,900 or more attack. Pretty okay. And then triple copies of the Celtic Guardian himself, the OG of OGs, standing at a huge apex of 1,400 with 1,200 defense points. Quite the turning point for monsters back in the day. You have two copies of Card Demise, triple copies of Pot of Desires, and two Duality. Pretty standard uh, ratio for draw power, I feel. We have one Rota and two copies of Scapegoat for those big link plays you're going to make. Traps here, we have triple compulsory evacuation device, triple copies of crack it down, two copies of heavy storm duster, one imperial order, one phantom knight sword, triple copies of solemn judgment, two copies of steerike, two warning, and triple copies of storming mirror force. Wrapping up the main deck here, down here in the extra deck, we have one security dragon, one ningrisu, one link Kribo, two link spider, one copy of unicorn, one Phoenix, and one copy of my boy Cerberus. With one Boral Sword and one Boral Load. And then we have a nice little Xyz engine here. We have one Tornado Dragon, one Time Thief Redoer, one Utopia of the Lightning, one Baguska, one copy of number 39, Utopia. So I think we have two Pancratops, two copies of Inspector Border, triple copies of Kumamungus, two copies of Super Agent. Please do note that these are all essentially Earth, except for this card. Because, you know, this card just wins games. Then we have one Feather Duster, one Heavy Storm Duster, two Skill Drain, and two copies of Shade Brigadine. So it's kind of cool because you can side in Shade Brigadine. Just normal summon your Cultic Guardian. You know, go Shade Brigadine here. Make a quick uh, Xyz play. Or a quick uh, Link play. Just kind of depends on really your opening hand and where you really want to go from there. Um, outside of that, nothing else too special about this. Though it is extremely cool that the stun engine has evolved enough. I know, like I said, I know this is purely memes, I think, for the most part. I'm pretty sure somebody actually played this at a tournament, though. But nonetheless, sweet, man. Like, Celtic Guardian seeing play out here in the year 2020. Fantastic. Now, the next deck we have here is, of course... Infernoid, actually. Now, I've definitely noticed a couple of things about the OCG metagame as of late, and I, I do want to talk about... I, I do need to do a dedicated segment to this. The cancer that is Red Eyes right now in the OCG. 
So basically, what ends up happening here is Red Eyes Insight, send one Red Eyes monster from hand or deck to the graveyard to add one Red Eyes spell trap card. So you end up dropping the Wyvern here, which, I mean, you can swap some of one Red Eyes from your graveyard, so you can just drop Red Eyes, banish it. But you go Insight, drop this, add the Red Eyes Fusion, then you uh, use this fantastic card. This is Fusion Summon, one Fusion Monster that lists Red Eyes Monsters Material from your extra deck. Using materials from your hand or field as fusion material, and if you do its name, it becomes Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now, normal splash summon the other monsters the turn you activate this effect. So, hand, deck, or field for fusion material. And you just drop out Fatty Mick Titan here. So, this thing stands at a huge apex 3000. Can Neither player can target or destroy this card with card effects. By the way, 3k body. Uh, during your main phase, you can destroy one monster opponent controls. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent, equal to that monster's original attack. By the way, it's one Dark Magician plus a Red Eyes or Dragon Effect monster. So you can go two vanilla monsters to make this. Or, okay, excuse me. Yeah, two vanillas to make this, or one plus an effect monster. Hmm. And by the way, Red Eyes Fusion, for the most part here. Then also has this wonderful effect. It's this quick effect. Discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card... Um, when your opponent would attempt to do something. Oh, and by the way, it gets a thousand attack! By the way, that thousand attack is until the end of the turn. I just wanted to point that out. So enjoy your huge 4k body. That just goes bigger. So we have one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes Black Dragon, one Infernoid Anaku, one Deviati, one Lava Golem, one Grinder Golem. By the way, we'll never get this card back because we have this stupid thing. We have two Seismatists, one Sajet. One Wyvern, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. One Maxi, triple Dankatron. One Effect Veiler and triple copies of Red Eyes Fusion. With the one Magicalized Fusion, just because you can banish fusion materials listed from your field or graveyard. So you just banish these from your graveyard to make a second one. Oh man, good times. Triple Dark, uh, Dark Spirits Master, Dark Occultism. Two Dark Roller No More. Triple Red Eyes Insight. Two copies of Called by the Grave. Two cross out designated, one void imagination, and triple copies of void vanishment, along with two impermanence, and one copy of the void feast. Extra deck here we have one Al Mirage, one Link Kriba, one Link Spider, one Gravity Controller, two Anaconda, one Needle Fiber, one Ceruja, one Boral Sword, along with, yep, that's right, my boy Absolute, one Raging, and one Rebellion, one Ade's Vortex Dragon, two Dragoon of the Red. Side deck here we have two Komamungus, two Maxi. Two DD Crow, two System Down, two Evenly Matched, two Red Reboot, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgmenting the Red Eyes Fusion uh, feels pretty good, I'm not going to lie. And on the topic of Red Eyes, last deck we have today is Orcust. Once again, we are splashing in Red Eyes Fusion because that's how stupid this card is. Every competitive deck is playing this right now. So, yeah, Orcust evolved in the OCG. Not for the better, let me tell you that. So we have one copy of Armageddon Knight, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two Dark Greffer, one Effect Veiler, one Gizmek, one Math Man, triple Max C, two copies of Orcus Brass Bombard, two Symbol Skeleton, two Heart Potter, triple copies of Orcus Nightmare Man, I'm so sick of this deck, triple Scrap Recycler, one World One. Maybe we should just ban the World One. Doesn't that stop all their combos, by the way? Hmm. Good thoughts there. We have one Dark Magician and one Red Eyes Black Dragon. With Triple Called by the Grave and Triple Cross Out Designator. We also have one Foolish Barrel, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Orchestrated Babel, triple copies of Orchestrated Return, one Red Eyes Fusion, one Rota, one Crescendo, and one copy of the Vanity's Emptiness. Down here in the next track, we have one Zero Boros for the OTKs, one Trisbania, one copy of Bomber Dragon, one Anima with one Anaconda. Then we have one Longrisu, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP Mascarena, two Galtea, one Boral Sword, one Appaloosa, one Dingrisu, and one Dragoon of the Red Eyes. Side here we have one Lancia, two Pankratops, one Ghost Ogre, two Nibiru, two copies of Dark Ruler No More, two Lightning Storm, two Anti Spell Fragrance, one in Pro Order, and two copies of Typhoon. By the way, the stupid Anaconda allows you to, you know, do a fusion. By dropping this from the deck, it costs 2,000 life. Yeah, that's totally fair, right, guys? 
Well, that wraps up our... Well, we were having fun with the Celtic Guardian deck, and then we went down the sad memory lane that is the OCG this week. Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about all these wonderful Red Eyes decks. And guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.